Hello everyone, Zoom here. Today we're actually going to go over the correct way to install a manual boost controller. So the traditional boost setup would be your compressor line would go from here and um, in most cases you would tee that in to your boost gauge and then to your actuator uh, source but with a manual boost controller um, it's a little bit different so uh, disconnecting it from the traditional compressor uh, housing and putting it on to something a little bit more primitive which is a bicycle pump which will act as the compressor uh, given positive pressure so the correct way is again this would be from the compressor the turbo compressor they have a T to the gauge this line now instead of going to the um, line under the diaphragm you would then T that run one line to the inlet here and the other line which would be to the top normally an external wastegate would have a port on top and one below this is really what it's for so as you can watch the boost gauge again you can see the you can see the arm actuating so quite naturally if I was to increase resistance back this down the, the boot should raise before this opens now it's somewhere around uh, 14 psi before it lifts off the seat and the same is also true by going the opposite way so what I've done in many cases when I don't want to use a manual boost controller what I'll do is pack this up with some some shims roughly the same size what's important is it has to be enough big enough to cover this pretty self-explanatory so as you increase the shim size here this would be a lot harder to close and then you would just run the bolts down and again increasing the resistance uh, against here making this harder to open not only giving you a little bit more uh, a little bit more boost but also a sharper boost curve but you got to be careful and monitor how many shims you put in there you can't just go over over zealous and pack this up to say more is more and you can even try it um, maybe put a shim or two in here clamp it down do the same pump style and you would notice then instead of you can maybe even mark on here uh, the previous when it opened at 10 psi maybe one shim may be uh, 12 another one may be 14 and that's one way easy you can boost pressure as well as in some cases increase boost response so I hope that you found this tip helpful and please leave any comments below.